36 and getting your Java fix in in Ann Arbor. It may be soon a bit more challenging for coffee shops preparing to close their doors and it comes after their baristas band together to form a union. This is interesting. 7 Action News reporter Matt Smith live outside the mighty good coffee shop in Ann Arbor. Matt, when will these doors be closing at these shops? Well, at this particular shop, we're hearing Friday. That's according to the letter that I got. But I mean, take a look. They still claim that they're open Saturday and Sunday. It goes to show how abrupt this is. The baristas I'm talking with say they were expecting to do contract negotiations last night. Instead, when they showed up, they were being talked to about their layoff situation. A handful of baristas holding signs outside. Inside, the coffee's still being served. But according to this letter from their boss's legal team, that won't happen for long. It explains in part that the bosses, quote, found the experience to be overly stressful, noting the retail operation created an unworkable burden on their relationship and their family. It's really unfortunate that the management gets to walk away with the money that they made in their successful business and we walk away with no jobs and no fair contract that we've been working for. The twist, these people unionized after allegations of racial discrimination in the workplace that barista has since left, but now, according to workers, the only people being laid off are the baristas. Other operations like coffee roasting will continue this as there's plans to close the company's Main Street location in just two days, another next month and two others by August. Still not, not a lot to go on for us. We don't know how they're going to manage staffing during that. We don't know who's going to still work. We don't know who's going to get hours. So there's, there's a lot of uncertainty with this right now. Mighty Good Coffee got some bad press after that racial discrimination lawsuit, but since then they've been dealing with contract negotiations with the fallout, that union. Now they say the union won't be a part of the company, or at least that's what the baristas say. A lot of them shocked by how sudden all of this was. I did reach out to the company's lawyer that sent that letter to the baristas. I've reached out to them by phone and by email so far. Nothing back to us. We are live in Ann Arbor this morning. Matthew Smith. 7 Action News. How interesting, Matthew. Coffee, one of those things, part of our routine. We get a bond with our baristas, so it's not just a plug and play type of position. Oh, and a lot fewer places in Ann Arbor, that's for sure. All right, keep us posted on that one.